Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I got the GoPro set up on a tripod right now. Uh, the engine's still a little bit hot. I'm just trying to let it sit for a little while before I get into this. But um, I already I started the video previously, but it I had to cancel it and because I, I went through too much. But um, I actually had to take off the supercharger twice now. So this is going to be hopefully the last time I'm taking it off. So I'm just going to do a uh, quick DIY on it to show you guys exactly what it involves to take it all off to um, for me I know you can replace I'm replacing the uh, map sensor uh, I figure that's pretty much my issue right now what I'm having so it's tucked down the bottom side of the supercharger on this corner <clears throat> I've heard people you can get it um, with it still on but it takes a very long time and a lot a lot of patience and it's really there's like no room in there so I don't even know how people even get that thing out but we're taking it off. Um, actually, you don't have to take it off the whole way, the supercharger. Uh, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> but you do have to unhook pretty much everything. And um, you have to lift the back side of it up a little bit without taking it. So you don't have to um, take off the uh, water uh, coolant lines for it, which are a real big pain in the butt. So, <clears throat> yeah. So you can leave these all connected. Um, the only thing I can say is to unhook the... Uh, the magnetic uh, on the supercharger pulley, there's a, a little uh, connector on it. Pop that off so it kind of is out of the way. And then, uh, yeah, we used to uh, undo these hoses, which I have modified this one right here. Because uh, this one broke on that side, so I have to buy another one. But temporarily, that's what I'm using. <clears throat> but, uh, okay guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to take this stuff off. Yeah, first, we take off the air boxes. Then the, the top charge pipes, and then uh, take off the fuel rail, and uh, it all comes off fairly simply actually. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take off these snorkels or whatever you want to call these. Take off those. <clears throat> then we pop off the the intakes on the driver's side. There will be a, a little hose, a breather hose. You want to take that off. Make sure I'm going to grab my gloves because it's still actually quite hot. This car gets so stinking hot. <clears throat> but, alright, so lift this up and you just pull it right off the, the uh, valve cover. And then these just pop on out, just like so. We'll sit up. Yes, there's off to the side. <clears throat> alright, and now. We will take off, loosen up the back uh, two uh, hose clamps that hold the charge pipes on. i uh, just been using, I think it's a 7 millimeter that I used, but this one actually, the passenger side one stripped on me, so I have to get another one too. But we're going to just loosen these up real quick. Absolutely horrible to have to keep redoing that. Yeah, the gaskets are actually, they're actually really cheap online. Um, actually, I got, because you have to actually get, uh, there are two different um, gaskets for each each charge pipe. So I bought two of them, and they were actually the same size as just for, I believe it was this thing, it was, yeah, it was the driver's side. So make sure you get both, because they're different. You have to get two different part numbers for them. <clears throat> I got those, but thank goodness they are actually still good. And they were the originals, so they can you can reuse them pretty much, which I did. I'm having no problems with them so far. Uh, so yeah, and then we're gonna take out these bolts for here. I'm just gonna crack them loose and use my impact to get the rest of them out. It is a T a T30 Torx bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and crack these loose. And these aren't on super tight. Yeah, so I wouldn't put. Put them back on and just get them good and snug. Especially if you have a new gasket on it, you're gonna probably have to come back and re-torque them again, just to make sure they're good and snug. These top ones were 750 a piece. They're actually very cheap. Take those off and then just pull all these out. Okay, so I can get this one 
out now. Down, and the leaves just pop on right out, just like so. I guess it's on there. Pretty simple, just on and off. The dryer. Now we're pretty much halfway there. And then you just take these two bolts. They are gonna be uh, an eight millimeter. All right, so it's a um, it's a star bolt for the fuel rails. I'm using a uh, eight millimeter socket, but that's what I, I'm using right now. Um, and also, uh, block these off the intake ones if you have a paper or towels or anything, which I have some here. Because uh, when I first did it, there was a lot of uh, junk and garbage underneath the back sides of these when I first put them in, or when I first took them off, and uh, some of the debris fell down into the cylinder. But uh, thank goodness I uh, found it and had to make shift the thing on the vacuum cleaner to get it off. All right, so when you take these, unhook them all, this one just pops right on off and you can just lay it off to the side. This other one kind of just lays down in there a little bit. <laughs> So you lift it up, you can lift it up a little bit and then push back on it. And you can lift it around because this little, I don't know what that is, like a regulator or something on there. gets in the way of the throttle body. So just lift it up and you just lay it down right off the side just like so. Pretty simple. And we're right about the home stretch now. To do that, uh, you have this other harness you can wiggle through. If you want to, I, I like to get it out, and that way it's out of the way from the supercharger when you put it back in. Then you can wiggle these wires back through, and you can get these out of the way. Because when you take a supercharger out, you don't want nothing in your way at all. So, I'm going to take off those, and also these front uh, tubes, <clears throat> you got to take these off as well. Um, you yeah, just be careful not to split them open, which actually looks like this one is now. So yeah, just be careful. Especially, you're probably going to have to get new ones of these if you haven't replaced them already, if they're old. Because these things just don't, they dry rot so quickly. So I'm just going to loosen this one up. And then just get that out of the way. <coughs> You're going to have to undo them as well. On these bolts, I'll bring a closer look here for you guys. So yeah, all your vacuum lines and stuff go under, underneath the supercharger too. There's only one for it. <coughs> so and now we're gonna break these loose. Oh, and in the front there's another uh, breather hose to it. Just unattach it and pop it off, just like that. Just kind of leave it hang off to the side then, or wherever you want to put it, sit that out of the way. Got those off, and uh, the back side here, there's uh, two of your uh, breather hoses that attach. So, turn back around here. So there's one here, and one on this side. Just pop them both off, and you can uh, wrap it up in a round, and kind of just tuck it in so they're not in the way. But um, also, <coughs> yeah, there's one more, the EVAP thing it was. It runs along the outside here, it's a rubber line, and there's the, uh, there's like a little bracket that's bolted to the valve body, so you want to undo that. That's again a, uh, an 8mm, so you're going to want to get the 8mm and uh, take that off real quick. And also be careful when you do, I mean you can put it back in, but I had an issue when I did mine when I took it off that it just pops right out on the bottom side of the supercharger. And when you do that, you'll get a code, like a P5 something, for a high idle, and your car will idle up at a, like a thousand, 1,000 RPM. And I'll say for a, like your uh, idle control valve or something is going wrong, but, and you hear it, it's a loud hissing noise. But yeah, this actually, you have to push it back into it. And that was my issue. So you're going to do that. And also, there's a... A rubber hose on it, so just unloosen it. And just pop it off, tuck it away. 
it's not going everywhere here. Alright. Let's take this one out. Pretty simple. And yeah, you can just pretty much I'm just gonna take it out. Like I say, it just pops right out. <coughs> so you gotta make sure you plug it back in then. Actually this part came out with it this time. So yeah, it actually just plugs right into it. Just like that. And that side goes into the supercharger. And then bolts down to your valve body. It's pretty simple. Just make sure you put that back in the right way. So we're gonna set that up to the side too. <coughs> and you got two uh, connectors. Uh, well actually more than that, two. There's four connectors, my bad. You got two that are bunched up in the back. They'll have like this protective thing on them. So you want to use, take them off, and I'll be careful because there is only one way to put these on. They're both the same exact connector, too. So I would mark them, mark them down uh, to make sure they're the correct ones. Um, but yeah, just unhook those. They actually don't. If you're taking it off, um, um, unhook them, and you unhook your uh, intake uh, temperature sensor. So you want to unhook that one as well. Even just to do this, just unplug it. It's pretty simple. It's actually right back in here. It's straight between the, I guess, the boots or the intake part of it. You want to just take those off. And then after that, we're pretty much ready. And then you can uh, take off the uh, uh, map sensor wire, the plug on top of it. Um, and also, I take off the dipstick. I'll just throw it up here and on the back side of it on the passenger side you'll see a, um, a little bracket that holds it still take that off it's a um, an eight millimeter as well but like the reverse torx bit but I've just been using this this is all I can find and it works and uh, <coughs> let me get my thingy oh there it is so you're gonna have to go around to the corner of it and get it off like that, pretty much down in the corner. So I just take that off, and um, I'm gonna do that quick, and uh, see you guys the rest. Alrighty guys, so I took that off, the little thing, and now you can move this around a little bit freely, so you can get, when you lift it up, you can wiggle it out of the way, so you can, it's not in the way. But yeah, just took everything back, try to keep it organized, <coughs> make everything easy as possible to get out, and then, you're going to need a Torx bit, and this is a T40. So you're going to use a T40 with a long extension to break these loose. And there's going to be this one that holds these two uh, recirculation valves or something. So uh, there's going to be one, one there, and then there's going to be one between every one of these. So, and then one in the back here. So you're going to break these loose. And the same thing on the other side. And there's going to be one on the way back that holds this uh, uh, engine mount off. So you're going to want to break that one loose and take it out as well. And then you'll move these out. So we're going to start in the front here. I'm going to show you guys. So torque the in. And break them loose. Get loose. Go through them. Break them. They don't. They're on there. A good good torque setting on them so don't uh don't over torque them when you put them back on but just kind of get them really good and snug and then that, that's pretty much it and then take off the uh well first thing i probably should have done was uh take off the supercharger belt so you want to take that off very easy to take off just lift it up take it off it's that quick to take off the supercharger belt on this car. Just leave that to the side. <clears throat> and now you're pretty much ready to go. Let's take those bolts out and uh, I'm going to be back and show you the rest. Alrighty. You hey guys, I got them off. Uh, yes, take them all loose. You don't have to take them out the whole way. I just unscrew them enough till they're out and they stay in there still in the slots. So when you put it back on, you don't have to drop bolts down through there they stay in perfectly fine just unhook your uh, you don't have to but I unhook them anyway 
the vacuum uh, lines on each end of these. Just tuck them off to the side and then you can just pop them on off. This one has a gasket on the end. They both do. So you want to keep them. Make sure you don't lose, lose these little gaskets. So keep these together and just set them off to the side or wherever you want to put them. So it's easier just to take these off and get them out of the way. It gives you more room to work <clears throat> so you're not fiddling around with unnecessary things. And then under here is your, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. So, wait, oh. so right here is the plug for your uh, magnetic thing. So you're going to take these off. It's on like a little bracket that mine broke. So just kind of hold it down and pop it off just like such. Tuck it back down in. Keep it away while you're going. And then, yeah, keep all your vacuum lines fairly clear so you don't damage anything. <coughs> Last thing you want to do is more vacuum lines going bad and whatnot. So, yeah, just get, tuck them out of the way as best as you can. Get them out of the way. And then you are pretty much, at this point, ready to pull the supercharger off. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you, well, a little bit of it. I'm going to get my uh, uh, adapter and stuff to take off my my other, uh, with a map sensor. So I want to have all this stuff ready to go. I'll leave those up here. I got my new, uh, new sensor here. This was from the dealer, by the way. Yeah, so here it is. It's a FAE15074. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's the same as the original. And this one should work. <clears throat> so we're going to keep that here. And sit that up there. Because <clears throat> I'm going to have what I've been having to do. So just crawl on up. <clears throat> I try to keep these wires clear right here and then you can kind of just stand on it a little bit so you can lift the back of this thing up and it's a weird position but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to get this thing out of here it's not the lightest uh, supercharger on the market so be prepared because it does have some uh, it does have some weight to it so I'm gonna the camera here if you guys can see this I usually grab either right under the uh, throttle body or if you can get your hand far enough to get underneath the back of this horn thing and then just lift it up and at the same time you have to move this out of the way a little bit so like I said, you gotta wiggle things around a little bit and then pull it up just enough like right there and if you can see it right here's the map sensor just pop off the plug Let's see if I can get this camera a little bit closer. Alrighty guys, uh, I had to charge the GoPro quick, <laughs> but alright, we're back. I'm going to lift this thing back up here, and I believe I had the right size on there, but we're going to check again here. So, just lift this up, out of the way, Try to wiggle it around a little bit, there we go. Once you get it up, out of the way here. I kind of just wedge my foot on the other side here. Keep this gear push as great as I can. It's not wanting to. But, alrighty. Just going to hold it up. And then there's the sensor. Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay. I believe this was the right one. No. Let's break these loose. Just like that. This thing is really heavy. I'm trying to get the best <laughs> lighting as I can. But my hand's going to be in the way right now. It is a tight little area to <laughs> get anything in. So, okay, I'm going to readjust again. 
Okay. The motor is really hot still. Okay, here we go. Especially down since your uh, pistons are pretty much exposed at this point. So we're going to be real careful. Hang on to those things. And then these, spin it around and pop it on out like that. We'll get our new one. And then same way, just stick it on in there like this. Just like so. And put your bolts back in. We have all this work just for this. It is a terrible location for this. Little socket in there. Tighten it down. Just snug them. And I dropped it. I dropped it. No. <laughs> I think I saved it. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Just put them back in. Sorry about the view guys if you can't really see. <laughs> yeah, there's nowhere to put anything. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. <clears throat> so I'm gonna tighten these down the rest of the way and then hook your uh, connector back up on there. And it is pretty, not too bad. But yeah guys, it's uh, not a bad little process here. Yeah, I'm still setting up here, but yeah, it's uh, not too bad. My other sensor. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, I'm up here on the, <clears throat> on the car. Oh yeah. So yeah, this is pretty much it. You gotta straddle the motor. <laughs> Get that in there, and then sit it back down in. It's uh, not too bad. Just reverse everything, pull everything back in once it's back down in. Make sure your connectors are all tucked back away. Make sure they're not gonna get melted or anything like that. Uh, yeah, just take your time with it. Hopefully you guys uh, like this little tutorial or uh, DIY. And uh, I'll get some more videos out here. I'm going to keep you guys up to date if uh, this actually fixes my issue completely. I won't know until it starts getting cold out again. So hopefully we'll have a, a couple more uh, cold days. And I'll be able to test it. But uh, yeah guys, if you uh, like my videos, uh, just like them. Subscribe if you're not. And uh, keep, in, uh, keep tuned and we'll, we'll get some more videos out here. Catch you guys in the next one.